Exodus chapter 25. Then Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, that they bring me an offering from every man who gives it willingly. You are to take my offering, and this is the offering which you shall take from them. Gold, silver, and bronze, blue, purple, and scarlet yarn, fine linen, and goat's hair, ram skin dyed red, goat skins, and acacia wood, oil for the light, and spices for the anointing oil, and for the sweet incense, onyx stones, and stones to be set in the ephod, and in the breastplate, and let them make me a sanctuary, that I may dwell among them. According to all that I show you, after the pattern of the tabernacle, and the pattern of all its furnishings, exactly so shall you make it. And they shall make an ark of acacia wood, two and a half cubits long, a cubit and a half wide, and a cubit and a half high. Overlay it with pure gold, both inside and out, and make a gold molding all around. Cast four rings of gold for it, and fasten them to the four corners, two rings on one side, and two rings on the other side. Then make poles of acacia wood, and overlay them with gold. Put the poles into the rings on the sides of the ark, so the ark may be carried by them. The poles shall remain in the rings of the ark. They shall not be removed from it. And you shall place into the ark the testimony which I will give you. Make a mercy seat, an atonement cover of pure gold. Two and a half cubits shall be its length and a cubit and a half shall be its width. And make two cherubim out of hammered gold. At the two ends of the mercy seat you shall make them. Make one cherub on one end, and the second cherub on the other. You shall make the cherubim at the two ends of it of one piece with the mercy seat. And the cherubim shall stretch out their wings above, covering the mercy seat with their wings. And they shall face one another, each facing down to the cover. You shall place the mercy seat on top of the ark, and in the ark you shall put the testimony that I will give you. And there I will meet with you, and I will speak with you from above the mercy seat, from between the two cherubim which are on the ark of the testimony, about all things which I will give you in the law to the children of Israel. Make a table of acacia wood, two cubits long, a cubit wide, and a cubit and a half high. Overlay it with pure gold, and make a gold molding all around. Also, make a rim around it, a hand breadth wide, and put a gold molding on the rim. Make four gold rings for the table, and fasten them to the four corners, where the four legs are. The rings are to be close to the rim, to hold the poles used in carrying the table. Make the poles of acacia wood, overlay them with gold, and carry the table with them. And make its plates and ladles of pure gold, as well as its pitchers and bowls, for the pouring out of offerings. Put the showbread, the bread of the presence, on this table, in front of me always. Make a lampstand of pure gold, and hammer it out, base and shaft. Its flower-like cups, buds, and blossoms shall be of one piece with it. Six branches are to extend from the sides of the lampstand, three on one side and three on the other. Three cups, shaped like almond flowers, with buds and blossoms, are to be on one branch, three on the next branch, and the same for all six branches which extend from the lampstand. And on the shaft of the lampstand there are to be four cups shaped like almond flowers with buds and blossoms. One bud shall be under the first pair of branches extending from the lampstand, a second bud under the second pair, and a third bud under the third pair, six branches in all. The buds and branches shall all 
be of one piece with the lampstand, hammered out of pure gold. Then make it seven lamps, and set them up on it, so they light the space in front of it. Its wick trimmers and trays are to be of pure gold, a talent that is about 75 pounds of pure gold is to be used for the lampstand and all its accessories. And see that you make them according to the pattern which was shown to you on the mountain. Destruction, see. 